The last surviving resident with memories of Walter's time is an old ranger, Sigurd Spinger. My granddad lived in a farm not far from here called Rosh Kelney. I just wondered how far that was from here and is there any chance of a farm being there now or anything being there now? Tom Sillins will act as Guy's interpreter. Could we go just to have a look, just to see if there is the, the land, you know, surely, how surely. far from here is it? I think Sigurd can show us the way there. The only record of the old tracks and houses in Asite is Sigurd's 90-year-old hunting map. Are we on this road here? Yeah. So we need to go up northeast and then start coming back down on ourselves. Yeah. So good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Top man. Guy follows the directions to the place where his granddad was born. It was a thriving area during Walter's time. There were 319 farms, two windmills, and three dairies. Latvians worked the land hard, becoming one of the world's biggest exporters of butter and bacon between the wars. But late in 1944, long after Walter had moved away, the parish was flattened when caught in the Eastern Front crossfire between German and Russian forces. Today, nothing is left. Come and have a look. See, mate, all the tree. Look at my view. That was Walter's view. What a place. Oh, I'm not going to get all deep and meaningful the movie. I just think it's just nice to look at what my granddad was looking at. It is a bit of a movie, movie moment, yeah. You're not going to get any tears out of me, anything, though. <laughs>